Hi, we are here today to make a short video that highlights both the power and communications installation wiring from multiple MaxLine EcoT lay-in troughers with a single Lutron 0 to 10 dimmer. Along with the EcoT, we are using the Lutron NFTVWH 0 to 10 volt wall dimmer. And because we are going to have more than one EcoT lay-in troffer on a single switch, we will need to also install the Lutron PP20 relay pack in the first fixture closest to where the wall switch will be mounted. This fixture will be the primary fixture. Choose the appropriate knockouts in the primary fixture and clear them out for the main incoming power and the PP20 relay pack. Install the PP20 where the AC wires are on the inside of the fixture and the low voltage communication wires are outside the fixture. In 277 volt applications, you will need to cap off one of the two blue wires and tie the orange and black from the PP20 to the main power line. In this case, we have 120 volt, so we will cap off the orange, we'll tie one blue with the black from the PP20 together with the main power line. We will now connect the other blue from the PP20 with the black line lead of the driver in the EcoT fixture. Next connect the white from the PP20 with the neutral on the driver. And of course, finally, we tie all the ground leads together in the fixture. I will note here that if line leads going to each fixture are all tied together and on the same leg, you are good as is. But if they are on different legs, it will be best to daisy chain the power leads from the primary EcoT fixture to the second fixture and so on. This is what we have done. Also, be sure to use the proper insulating of the power lines and connections to meet the national and your local codes. Note also that the low voltage communication leads do not need to be further insulated. See the supplied manual for any additional information and alternative switching and dimming options. We have our main power connected, so let us now take a look at connecting the PP20 communication leads to the wall dimmer and from the wall dimmer to the fixture control leads. First, let's cap off the red wire on the PP20. We will not be needing the red wire with the MaxLite EcoT lay-in troffer. Ultimately, we will connect the black from the PP20 to the red on the wall dimmer and the blue from the PP20 to the blue on the wall dimmer. We recommend using 18 to 20 gauge common doorbell wire to bridge between the PP20 and the wall switch. Now we will connect the wall switch to the fixtures. We will connect the gray and the violet from the wall switch to the gray and the violet in each fixture. We accomplish this by running the gray and violet from the switch to the gray and the violet in the primary fixture and daisy chaining to the second fixture and so on. This can be done to a total of 20 fixtures. Now you have synchronized full dimming of up to 20 EcoT lay-in troffers on a single wall dimmer switch.